Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Shuffler at Paraland Animal Hospital, and I am hoping that this video goes antiviral. Bad dad joke, sorry. But anyway, trying to help people. I know Clorox wipes, a lot of people have been looking for these in the store, these disinfecting wipes, and they've been very difficult to find. Our local hospitals are running very short on them, and we're actually donating our supply to them. And so here in the hospital, we still need a way to wipe down surfaces and disinfect. There's a very cheap, very easy way to do that. And so I wanted to share that with you and, and hopefully this will help you in your business to keep your employees safe, your clients safe, or even at home if you have surfaces that you wanna wipe down routinely, this is a very easy and cheap way to do it. So we're gonna make our own disinfecting wipes. It's a very simple thing to do. All we need are some paper towels, which again, some people have had trouble finding these. These are commercial multi-fold paper towels. They work really well for this, but you could even use a, a regular round roll of paper towels. I'd probably take them off the cardboard roll, just wrap them around your hand, uh, but using those plain ones, as long as they're all connected together in some way, this will work out really well. You need one quart of water, just plain water. You need 20 mLs of normal household bleach which we have here, 20 mLs is the same amount as four teaspoons. So if you don't have a syringe, luckily we're a veterinary clinic and I have these, but uh, you could just measure out four teaspoons and that would be the same thing. And then you need some kind of a container. Now I have a Tupperware container here. Um, this is what we decided to use, but you could use a gallon Ziploc bag. You could use really anything you have as long as it'll hold the moisture in. Now I wanna demonstrate these. What we did was we've already made some up and by having the, connect, the towels all connected, what I can do is I can go here to one end and start to pull some out, all right, just like that, and then just tear off what I need, and I have a disinfecting wipe. I'll take it and wipe down surfaces and clean stuff up, throw that away, and then whenever I close my box back up, everything in there will still stay moist. We go through these really fast, so this is not an airtight container, but you could definitely get an airtight container that would prevent it from evaporating so quickly. So, another container. Let's go ahead and make these up. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you protect yourself. Bleach can burn your eyes. It can actually, it puts off some strong fumes. Um, I believe it's also considered flammable. And it bleaches clothing. It can even eat holes in clothing. So be careful, don't splash bleach all over yourself. Um, I'm gonna wear my safety glasses and some gloves. So, got our quart of water. We're gonna take this 20 mLs of general household bleach and we're going to add that to the water. Stir it all up. Then we'll open our container. roll of paper towels or, or a pack of paper towels. Again, these are multi-fold towels, but you can use any paper towels. Um, as long as you don't make your bleach solution too strong, it should work just fine. Strong bleach solutions will eat through certain materials. So I, I don't think you need to make it any stronger than what we're making right now. This is actually what the CDC suggests is four teaspoons per quart. Um, if you want to make it stronger than that, you can, but just be aware you're going to bleach holes in clothing and surfaces and, and things like that. Um, this, is, this is basically a one to 50 dilution. So we take this bleach solution and then we're gonna carefully pour it over the paper towels, trying not to splash it everywhere. If you don't get all the paper towel soaked, that's fine. You can actually just pour it into the bottom of the container and the paper towels will absorb it and bring it up to where they are all soaked. Make sure that they all got a good amount of that bleach water on them, squishing them around. You let them sit for 10 minutes, and I'll guarantee you that all that water will absorb into that roll, and they'll all be pretty much homogenous, equally saturated. We're going to try and speed it up a little bit by squishing on it. Then you find the one loose end. You start to pick it up. If they're all soaked, it would be just like the other ones I demonstrated. These haven't soaked up the bleach yet, but they'll all come off in a roll, tear off what you need, and then seal up your container. Now, this bleach solution is strong enough to wipe down surfaces. It should be safe on stainless steel, on metals where this virus can be transmitted. I have a hold of my glove, see? 
be careful working with bleach. So it, it should be safe on any of those surfaces. Um, it is also actually a safe enough solution to where you can wipe down your pets if you needed to. If you're concerned that the cat could transmit a virus to another person in the household or something along those lines, you can take one of these wipes and gently wipe down their coat. It should not discolor their fur and it is safe to use on them. You do want to avoid their face and their eyes. Please do not get bleach solution on their face or their eyes, but you could wipe down the rest of them if you have any of those kind of concerns. Um, we use bleach solutions in veterinary medicine routinely for transmissible skin diseases. So that is something that you can do. Um, a one to 50 solution should be safe. If you make a stronger solution, I do urge caution with that. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Subscribe to our channel. We're gonna try and find other ways to help people out and to, to come up with more solutions for this epidemic that we're facing. And we wish you all a great day. God bless and stay safe.